Hello, my name is Laura Ryan. I am an endocrinologist at The Ohio State University, Wexner Medical Center's Center for Women's Health. A very common issue that we manage here at CWH is the thyroid nodule. A thyroid nodule is a lump or growth within thyroid tissue. The thyroid gland typically sits very close to the windpipe, low in the throat. The thyroid gland closely resembles a butterfly in shape with the two wings called lobes. Sometimes a lump in the thyroid is associated with a general enlargement of the thyroid gland, which is also known as a goiter. However, often the thyroid is normal in size with the nodule embedded within it. Occasionally, thyroid nodules can cause symptoms localized to the throat. Left lobe nodules especially can put mild pressure on the esophagus, causing the sensation of food getting stuck while swallowing. The front of the neck can feel full, and sometimes it's uncomfortable to wear a tight collar or a turtleneck. However, the majority of nodules do not cause any symptoms at all and are found incidentally. Thyroid nodules can sometimes be felt on examination by your primary care doctor or gynecologist. Sometimes they are noted in the setting of an unrelated test, such as a carotid ultrasound or a CAT scan of the neck or chest. The best way to evaluate a thyroid nodule is with an ultrasound of the neck. An ultrasound is painless and does not expose the patient to any radiation. Sometimes lab work can help define the nature of a nodule. Also, occasionally, a special nuclear medicine radiology test, called a thyroid uptake and scan, provides useful information. Thyroid nodules are very common, especially as we age, and especially in women. Up to 50% of women age 60 or older have a thyroid nodule. We often do not know what causes a thyroid nodule. Sometimes it's simply a fluid-filled cyst that can be easily drained. But up to 5% of thyroid nodules contain cancer, which is why we evaluate all thyroid nodules over one centimeter in size, which is about a half an inch. The best test for evaluation is a fine needle aspiration. This is done with ultrasound guidance and local anesthesia or numbing of the skin. Often a thin needle is inserted into the nodule three or four times, and the entire procedure takes about 15 minutes. Patients can often immediately return to their normal activities, and I sometimes tell my patients that undergoing a thyroid biopsy is similar to having a cavity filled. Most nodules are benign and do not require any other treatment than regular examination and occasional follow-up ultrasound measurements. Some nodules may eventually require surgical removal, but most do not. If you or your doctor finds a thyroid nodule within your thyroid, know that they are common and often benign, but do need to be evaluated by an endocrinologist.